Okay, I'm going to do another demo here combining uh, two different images and you're welcome to combine more than two. And This is pretty straightforward. The images are shot with the same camera. They're the same size. Um, you could play with you know, combining a vertical image into horizontal or vice versa. But um, I've got uh, the image I used in the previous demo that I duplicated multiple times. And what I'm going to do is take another image and drop it on top of this one. Use the Move tool. And if you hold the Shift key as you drag, I'm clicking and holding on this top image, dragging to the other and let go. Holding the Shift key will center up that image on top of the other. Okay, and I'm going to close that one. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to hit uh, just F on the keyboard, get to uh, full screen mode. And uh, and here I'm going to play with the blending options again. Um, now, if you have the Move tool selected, you can hold the Shift key and hit the plus on the keyboard to cycle through. So we start out at normal. That's Dissolve, Darken. Pretty neat. Multiply. Pretty cool. Color Burn. A little too hot. Linear Burn. A little too dark darker color. That's got some neat things going on. Lighten. Eh. Okay. Washed out. Screen. Okay. Color dodge. Whew. Linear dodge. These dodging things are all lightening the image. Lighten color. Overlay. That's pretty nice. Soft light. Now that's real nice. Hard light, a little too intense. Vivid light, really intense. Linear light, pen light, that's pretty cool. Hard mix, really crazy, man. That is intense. Difference, got some neat color going on there. Exclusion, that's got some nice subtlety. Remember, I'm holding the shift and going down the, using the plus key on the keyboard. Hue, that's sort of nice. Saturation. Wow. Beautiful colors in there. Color. That's just applying the color of the top image to the image underneath. And we've used the color layer before to hand color in uh, a picture. Luminosity. You really don't see anything of the uh, image underneath. Normal. Of course, we're back at the beginning. So that's just the the image on top. They're not interacting when we're at the normal stage. So I want to hit the minus key and go back up to uh, which one was it? I think, yeah, exclusion. That's pretty cool. Okay. Now, um, I, I could of course leave it at this. I think I will crop this one just like I did before. Just remove a little bit of that left side. Bring that in. Okay. Um, and I can apply a filter. Let's see. Uh, let's try maybe some. I don't know. Well, we'll try a blur here. Let's do a. Uh, uh, oh heck, we'll do a motion blur again. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Pull down the blur some. Maybe change the direction of the blur so it's. So, yeah, now we're talking. Okay. Now again, you can um, uh, use a different image again, erase some of this image so the other image underneath comes through. Instead of erasing, though, using a mask is a better idea. Using the brush and painting with black. And this time I'll go in and just say pull in, uh, pull this back to the original. And again, I'm working real fast just so that you can get the idea this is by no means near finished or or anything. I'd probably be a lot more selective in what I was doing, but you can see you get some really nice um, paint painterly kind of images uh, doing this. Okay, so simple. Two layers, two different images. Background is exactly as it was shot top layer set to exclusion 
and then I used a layer mask and uh, just um, removed some of this top, basically erased some of the top image and revealed the the image underneath as it was as it was shot. Okay, and then I could just simply do a save as and uh, put this out, save it, and try some other variations with this same image or or pick something altogether, even add a new new image on top of this. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to do one more demo and I'm just going to go through and show some examples that I've done that are uh, finished or, or some are close to finished. Okay, so that is it for this demo, combining two different images and using uh, blending modes.